we might well ask, what does all this data have to do with intelligence in any way? To paraphrase uh, Einstein, who made this uh, comment, data is about knowing things or knowing facts or data points. The point is to understand and then to predict. And that's what all knowledge and use of knowledge is all about. I'll illustrate this with a simple example. This is a simple game and the red dots are following the uh, eyes of the player uh, as uh, uh, the game is played. Notice where the dots are and now notice this and uh, look at this player on the right instead. There's a marked difference between how the player on the left plays versus how the player on the right plays. Can any of you figure this out? It's quite simple. The player on the left is reacting to where the ball is, whereas the player on the right is predicting where the ball is going to go. If you were to wonder which kind of game you played, what would your guess be? It turns out that almost all of us play the game on the right, which is predictive intelligence. The question is how? And we learn to play the game on the right from all the data that we encounter in our lives. So what we're going to talk about in this course is organized in the following way. The kind of data that we find in the world by looking around, how we dis figure out which data to tune into versus ignore, what kind of facts or knowledge we can learn from such data, how we can put two and two together and connect different pieces of data with each other, just, and then use these connections to predict what's going to happen next. And finally, though we might not get to that in this course, how do we use these predictions to figure out where to move the paddle and correct our own actions? It turns out that prediction based on past experience is what all conscious human beings, conscious animals in fact, do all the time. And that is exactly what big data enables large numbers of machines to do every day on the web. Let's see how.